Good morning, loves. Guess what today is? No, 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 no. Guess what today is? Today is my 23rd birthday. I am so excited. I'm so happy that it's my 23rd birthday. And because it's my 23rd birthday, here's how I'm feeling. So for my 23rd birthday, one of the things that I really wanted to do was to document 23 lessons that I've learned in my 23 years on earth. So these lessons are for two purposes. One, for me to share what I have learned with you and two, for me to be able to come back to, to see the lessons that I have picked up in my life and to just always remember where I'm at. So without yapping too much, let's go. Today's lesson is to not settle for safe. You see, in life, when you live constantly worrying about what ifs, you rarely leave room for faith. And I'll explain. If you keep trying to have everything figured out, straight out, what if this happens, what if that happens, and you want to have all those questions answered, you don't really leave space for God to step in and work in your situation. So here's what I'm going to say. Remove room for excuses that highlight failure and then speak only in the positives all the time. Like no matter what you're going through, focus on the positives. Now the next lesson that I have learned is that hope isn't a feeling, hope is a choice. I've come to realize that for someone who is very emotional or who is moved by my emotions like I am, sometimes when I don't feel this certain way, then I feel that a certain thing isn't how it's supposed to be. But that's not really what it is. Having hope when things are going wrong, when things aren't going as planned, is not really about how I feel. It's about a choice that I'm making in that situation that I'm going to focus on the positives. And based off that, another lesson that I've really learned is that I cannot control everything. And I want to constantly live my life knowing that I would always do what I can do and leave the rest to God which is what I recommend doing because the thing about life is when you're trying to be the one who is doing everything then you're just going to be exhausted you're going to suffer the next lesson that I would say that I have learned is whenever you have a goal and you feel that the goal is bigger than you I've learned that it's better to put down all the steps that's going to take you to achieve that goal rather than get overwhelmed and not do anything and i'll explain those smaller steps you might feel like you're not doing anything or you're not doing much but the thing is they're taking you somewhere and you are better off than that person who has had the goal or who has had the dream or who has had the vision and is still in the same spot the next lesson that i have learned is that limiting beliefs are a real thing there's some beliefs that we have that make us think that we cannot achieve or become certain things or certain people and they can be changed the same way they were acquired is the same way that they can be changed so i always recommend not letting any limiting belief hold you back from reaching your true potential or being who you're destined to be the next lesson sleep is essential my dear friends my present self and my future self would thank me for training my body to always get eight hours of sleep is the best thing that i've ever done for myself and you know sometimes we over romanticize the hustle the hustle spirit working hard grinding you know but then it's really not about you know the thing is that success is not really about hustle or grinding or stressing yourself to attain a result you can sleep well and be successful I mean when you sleep well when you get good sleep your mind is in a good place your body is in a good place you're in a better place to make the decisions to actually be successful so sleep guys please sleep my next lesson is to spend time with people who you can learn from and grow this is not saying that you should only be trying to spend time with people who are above you but always make sure that wherever you are 
even if you're just resting even if you're calm in your interactions there's room for learning and growing i think that that should be priority in choosing who you hang out with like can i learn something here or can i grow here is a better determining factor of who to spend your time with than would i have the best party the next lesson that i have learned is to be honest with myself every step of the way if you're a nigerian adult or youth the way that we're raised up we're sometimes made to to not to pay attention to certain um truths to certain things that might be wrong with the way that we live our lives or what we do but then i've realized that since i started practicing self-awareness and trying to be very conscious and being brutally honest with myself even when i don't like what that honesty looks like i have become a better person because the truth is that to truly grow you shouldn't be lying to yourself you, sh you should know where you're at so that you can know what you need to do to move from there so it's not okay to be dishonest with the world but then even if you're dishonest with the world don't be dishonest with yourself the next lesson that i have learned is that as whole as you might be there's a high chance that you're still not enough for the wrong person and it truly isn't on you and i think that a lot of times we think that things will go different if we did something different if we acted different if we showed up more if we but then even if you did all those things if it's for the wrong person then it's still not enough so i would say that be able to see when that's the case and be able to know when to move on the next lesson that i have learned is to listen to people listen to people listen to how they want to be loved pay attention and decide if you're capable of loving them in that manner or being in their lives because you cannot keep looking at people's experiences through your own lens that way you're not even understanding or paying attention to what they are going through or what their reality is so always try to understand how the other person on the other spectrum especially in relationships and friendships fr friendship is a relationship but yeah always understand how they want to be treated because it is when you are treating them that way that they would then feel that you truly love them or you truly care about them the next one is to find yourself first it is so important to know who you are understand your your strengths your weaknesses the things that could be opportunities even the bible says man know thyself know yourself well be self-aware because when you are self-aware you can see that you would see that you are doing you can do more in life you know the situations to pursue you know the situations to step up for so if you haven't begun your journey to self-awareness now is the time this is something that i struggle with all the time but i think that you have to learn to trust yourself you have to trust in your strengths um even if what you're doing doesn't feel right at the time but just trust the journey this is because like yes people have opinions but sometimes you are really the only person who understands who knows where you're going so just trust that as long as you're going with your guts that you're making the right decision for you today's lesson is that you should know your values and ensure that you're enforcing those values in your relationships i'll explain so i remember that there was a time in my life where i used to feel so sad and ask god why i didn't have friends but i realized that i wasn't i had friends i had people around me but i didn't have the kind of 
deep rooted friendships that I had come to learn that you needed in life um, my I had a very interesting secondary school experience I didn't make a lot of lifelong friendships I made some but not a lot of them so I prayed about it and um, one thing that I learned was that when I identified the values that were important to me in friendships it became easier because I was choosing friends not because of all oh, we laughed all together or we liked the same things I started choosing friends because they held the same values as I did and one thing that's really important to me when it comes to friendships is support so yes know your values and apply it to every other thing so relationships friendships work once you know the things that are important to you it's easier to pay attention to those things as you go through your journey today's lesson is it's okay not to know everything a lot of times maybe when starting new roles or you know starting in a business uh, sometimes I feel that because I'm the youngest person in the room I have to always prove that I know more than every other person in the room I always felt like I had to go the extra mile to prove that I deserve to be in the room as well instead of just asking for questions immediately and saying I don't know I will try and google and figure it out myself and while doing research is always great sometimes you learn quickly when you just ask someone else and you also get to learn from their experience so you don't have to know everything and ask questions when you don't know stuff that's today's lesson enjoy the simple things in life simple things like having food to eat having water to drink you know that your life doesn't have to be extremely glamorous for it to be fulfilling a lot of times i found myself you know feeling less because maybe certain things aren't happening so I'm like oh my life is so you know regular but yeah enjoying the simple things in life is how you truly enjoy what life is you know made up of so protect your heart protect your head protect your space you know the next lesson that I have learned in my 23 years is that your mind and your mouth are the two most powerful things. I used to sometimes be okay with saying some negative things, but at this phase in my life, I usually try to avoid it because even the Bible tells us that there is power in the tongue. And when you watch movies or just look at people's lives or successful people's lives or people who have interesting lives, you see that a lot of times it's because it all started from their mind like they could think it they could do it they broke through that barrier of being held back by their thoughts so those are the two most powerful things and how you choose to use them is really going to influence the outcome of your life so guys would you rather have a positive mind and mouth or a negative one that's something to reflect on the next lesson that I have learned is that community is important. Community in the church, community in friendships. The truth is that you really cannot go through life alone. You were not designed that way. No matter how much you dislike people, no matter how anti-people you are, you need people to go with you on this journey called life. So. Find your tribe, like I said before, but it might not be as easy. But just always remember that you cannot do things alone. A lot of times when you're struggling, sharing your problems with one or two people would get it half solved. So please do not try to be an island. Man wasn't created to be that. The next lesson that I have learned is that everyone has different blueprints everyone's path in life is very different no two people have the same exact paths similar paths yes but not the same exact ones so do not be so invested in the life of someone else that you try to model your life to be exactly like their life 
you're going to miss out on so many things because no two people's blueprints are exactly the same and that's just how god has created us so i would recommend finding what your own blueprint is and living your life on your own terms the next lesson that i have learned after discovering that no two people have the same blueprints is that don't live your life based off other people's experiences and i'll explain for example there was a time that i used to think that because xyz has happened to mr a mr b mr c it means that xyz would happen to me if i tread that same path remember how i said that no two people's blueprints are the same yes and that's the same way that the fact that xyz happened to mr abc doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you so always take time and ask yourself what does this path mean for me should i go this way and do it like do not let yourself be held back by other people's negative experiences learn from them take what you would from them but do not let that be the defining factor in your own life the next lesson that i have learned in my 23 years on earth is to love and treat yourself how you want to be loved because believe it or not people are watching how do you treat yourself do you prioritize yourself do you treat yourself like you're special do you romanticize your life do you treat yourself do you buy yourself gifts do you do things to take care of you people watch how you treat you because when people want to come into your life they're looking at how you treat yourself that's going to be the determining factor on if they'll be able to stay in your life so and treating yourself just shows that you love yourself so however you love to be loved love yourself that way do you love to be loved by buying flowers buy yourself flowers do you love to be loved by traveling take yourself on trips it doesn't have to be seychelles or maldives you can even go to ibadan aquaibob calabar but please romanticize your life show yourself love treat yourself today's lesson is you don't need anyone's approval let me explain so basically you can decide to be whoever you want to be or do whatever you want to do you should not let society's constructs define who you should be and sometimes you also don't need confidence just being courageous enough to go on your own path or be on your own journey is enough sometimes or rather most times courageous acts eventually help you build confidence the next lesson i'm going to be sharing is about work ethic sometimes your knowledge your connections could get you into a room or create opportunities for you but your work ethic is what would keep you in those rooms or always give you a seat at the table and I've learned that it's very good to try to build or define what your work ethic is from a good age it makes people trust you more it makes people look forward to working with you more it makes people feel comfortable when you're in projects together because they trust that you can deliver so I would always say always have a good work ethic let your work ethic be superb it doesn't mean it doesn't matter if you don't have as much knowledge as much tools as much opportunities but let your work ethic always speak for you and the last and final lesson for me is to please live whatever that means to you you do not want at the end of life to sing back and be like oh i wish i lived more i wish i did this more i wish i did that more living doesn't mean recklessness don't forget but it means doing things on your own terms getting some form of fulfillment from your life so how can you really live everyone is different i love to live or i feel like i'm living through experiences and i try my best to make sure that i experience as many things as possible different cuisines um cultures if possible um 
weathers if possible like whatever living means to you if living means waking up and deciding that you know what i want to move to a new city and start my life all over please do it but live and enjoy life because life is beautiful and we're all lucky and glad that we're alive today have a great week my loves